and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. I'm Sarah Hatch, I'm a mom of five kids, and this is my oldest son, and we have been drawing Wild Kratz characters this week, and um, he loved Wild Kratz when he was little. He's been watching it since he was a little boy. He always loved watching it with his little brother, and they always reminded me of Martin and Chris, because he used to have blonde hair and blue eyes, and that's how Chris was, I mean Martin was, and then Chris was the little brother who had dark hair and brown eyes like his little brother. And they love animals. We even got to go to Wild Crest Live once, and that was fun. Right when you were getting almost too old for it, but you still had fun, huh? You remember that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was pretty awesome seeing them in person in a concert, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Grab a Sharpie and, or, or a pencil, it can be hard to draw them, so if you'd rather use a pencil so that you can race, totally fine. All right, let's get started. And we're gonna draw his hair going up like that. Curves in and down. He has these little spikies and then it goes back. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna draw a straight line down. And then it's gonna angle up and then curve in. And then he's gonna have these little messy tufts of hair back there. And then his ear is gonna go like that. But now his chin is gonna go down and over and up and back in. Okay, so now his eye. Where's that pin? I'm gonna use a pen just to make sure I don't do it too thick. So one of the circles is there. And the other circle's over here. Maybe I'll do all the features with the pen. Okay, and then his nose. Like that. And his mouth is off to the side, smiling. Okay, so then his pupil is looking at you like that. Then you can just draw a little thin line around it, and we'll color it in blue later. And then eyebrows are right up here. Kind of hidden behind his hair on this one. Don't mind. And I'm just fixing up my circle, making the top of the circle just a little thicker over here. And I'm gonna make this side a little thicker too. So there's this thin little line inside the ear and then a little right there. Now his neck, we don't wanna make it too long because we gotta fit his whole body in. So just right there for his neck. And then a curved line for the t-shirt top. And then he's got this vest. So the, those lines come together. And then this line comes up and meets up with that t-shirt right there. And then it comes down and over like that. And that's gonna be colored blue because that's like his jacket part, this blue shirt, okay? And then we've got his shoulder right here. And it comes down a little bit 
That is his shoulder. Well, the shoulder of his vest. Like his creature power suit vest. And then, like, his sleeve comes out of there. Like this. But let's finish the vest real quick. So you skip and go under. And then over. So this is going to be the bottom of his vest right here. And then we're going to skip over to here, right under this collar. Do you see this, buddy? Where, right where it comes to the point, we're going to do a little notch. And then come down and in. Maybe not curved quite that much. Okay. And then these two lines come together. We're gonna draw the circle where the activation disc goes and then three circles to create the paw print and then we're gonna make a rectangle right here and a thinner one underneath and those are gonna be colored blue later and there's another rectangle over here and a thinner one underneath too. So there's his sleeve. And then under the sleeve is this blue strip with two black stripes right there. And then the rest of this will get filled in black. Whether you do yours with colored pencil later or marker later, you can decide. This will all be filled in black later. So let's move on to the sleeve. All right, so we're gonna draw just a cuff right here and it goes over and then some wrinkles. And that's the sleeve. And then his elbow is right here. And then his, his glove for his creature pod has an angle like this for the, the blue stripe at the edge of his glove. There's like a blue ridge and then like a thinner one right here. And then the creature pod goes inside of this shape. draw these lines around it. His, he's got this little blue shape right here. It's gonna be blue later. And then his knuckles are right here. So you can draw one line there, another here. Because he's got the fist that he's making because his hands are on his hips. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. Mine's not perfect. Okay, so his shirt comes down from like where those blue stripes are. Yeah, you got that. And then it comes over, swoops down a little bit and back up. Then it comes up right here before the vest ends. I'm just gonna fix up the edge of this. All right, there's a line down the center right here. Okay, and then this is dark right here too. Okay, so now we're going to draw this fist 
it's kind of hidden more. You can only see like the pinky here and a little curve. And then like this rectangle is kind of cut off right there. And then it notches out. And then here's where the creature pod goes, right in there. And then it connects right there. And then we've got the two blue ridges right here. And then it all connects. And I come down and there's gonna be some wrinkles and then there, and then it's gonna come over and then we're gonna have the elbow behind and there's gonna be some wrinkles in the fabric. I've just been filling in the black while he's been doing his arm. So, this line comes down and back and then over and then up and then his other leg comes down and over and back and then he's got a pocket right here and a zipper right here and another pocket right there and then his big square pocket down here the flap and the lines and then the hem of his shorts. And this one goes like that. And then you can see just a little bit of the square pocket over there. Cool. So he's got his calf coming out and down. They've got skinny legs. And then he's got these bunchy socks. angle down and then his boot comes out and down and it widens a little bit right there comes forward and then up and then the sole is right there so it comes so you've got like a curved line down here And then it curves back up and in. All right, and then his other leg comes down and forward and then straight down. And then the bunchy socks again. And then we got a straight line right there. And then it comes down. And it doesn't go quite as far down as this one. And then it comes forward like that. And then he's got the sole right here. These lines don't really matter because the boots end up being so dark that they don't really show. I discovered that when I drew Martin. Okay, I mean when I drew Chris. So, there we go. Good work, buddy. All right, now we're gonna color and time lapse. I colored with markers and he colored with colored pencil since he had done pencil as his base. And I didn't have the right color blue, but just use what you have and you can pause it here and use this as a reference to color off of. Thank you so much for drawing with us. I hope you enjoyed drawing Martin and we would love to see how yours turns out. Tag me at Sarah Hedge Art Studio on Instagram or have one of your parents do it and that way I can be able to see how yours turned out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos and we'll see you later. Bye.
Bye.